Right, Jasper, time to get in the car. Good morning, everybody. Just about morning time still, and I'm just about awake. Just about. Oh, yeah. We're at the party house, and there's one small problem. This car's quite wide, and the road is quite narrow. So what we're gonna do is, I'm letting Soap and Jasper out. I'm gonna go drive and park a couple of streets away and then just board back. And while I'm doing that, it'll give me the opportunity to give you my Tesla ownership review. Yeah, sort of like a kind of summary of my experience owning a Tesla and driving it for over 60,000 miles. Yep, see you in a minute, so. Right, let's go get that parking sorted. Okay, I think this is a reasonable parking space. Mm -hmm. Could be wider. Luckily, I don't have far to go. So, what I was going to talk to you about was the ownership experience with Tesla. A different sort of experience to what you get with well, certainly any other car that I've ever owned. You know, I can already tell I'm going to have to finish this video later. In my 60,000 miles, I have had my share of troubles, had my share of things that need fixing, and I'm here. Pink house party time. I am a big fan of the old Christmas hats. Just thought I'd pop out for a quick second. What was I talking about before? Yes, so, ownership experience. Yeah, I've had my fair share of issues, you could say. I had a few of the red LED lights on the rear brake strip go. Put a bit of moisture in one of the rear brake lights. There's a bit of seal around the rear left door, which is coming loose. See that? A little bit of metal starting to come through the seat. The electric motor is a little bit on the noisy side. I think it's what they call the sort of milling problem. But Tesla have always been there to help me through any difficulties. The customer service has been great, it's been responsive. They like to take ownership of whatever the problem is and really see it through to a positive resolution for their customers. I think that's probably the best way of putting it. I've certainly done some pretty long journeys. As I hadn't reset trip A until I'd already done 22 miles, that means I've done 500 miles this weekend. We're back safe and sound having done 364 miles. There's certainly nothing about the car that makes me feel like it's impossible to do a particular journey. In fact, I'd probably go so far as to say the opposite is true. I've taken a lot of journeys in this car, which if I'd had to pay for the petrol, I probably wouldn't have done. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely true given that I've been to Manchester like four or five times and it saved me a huge amount of money as well which is always handy because the car did cost quite a lot when I first bought it. One of the nice things about the ownership experience with Tesla is at least at the moment at any rate there is a bit of a pioneering spirit going on. As you can see behind it's looking pretty full today. What's happened is that about 19 or 20 Tesla owners have turned up to celebrate the opening of South Mims Supercharger. You know, people like to help. People are interested in the car, just sort of random people that you meet tend to be interested. There is um, a bit of an EV camaraderie anyway, I think, a little bit of a sort of everyone helps each other kind of mentality. It's quite good from a social point of view, if you like that kind of thing. You know, when you stop to charge, there's often somebody who wants a quick chat about your car. Sometimes they own an EV. Do you want, do you want to be on YouTube? Good morning. Hello, good afternoon, sorry. Yeah. Sometimes they don't own an EV. There's also lots of interesting events that you can go to or be invited to. The Tesla Owners Club is a very friendly place, always happy to help answer questions for you and they organize events yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, all good.
Ooh, speaking of events, time for me to go get a bit more cake. That is so cool. So it's got a touch pad on top. Oh, dude, I'm gonna need one of these. Do you, you don't know how much it was? 400 pounds? It's not too bad, is it? So, yeah. this is what I want for my like next Christmas or birthday. Freaking amazing! Who made it? That is a very good idea. And I like the tripod now too. Yeah, it comes with a little tripod. So, what resolution is it? Uh, it runs, I think it runs 720. Yeah, it's got to be reasonably high because I can actually read the words. So, yeah. yeah. That thing is absolutely the gadget to have. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, I desperately want one of those. You've got to see this, so. Good, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Could that be on new TV? <laughs> I can't believe how small that is. I know, but wouldn't that be perfect for like traveling and camping and. This is brilliant, right, well, you just stand there holding that then for the next few hours and uh... So that'll do 3D as well, with glasses. That is amazing. It's actually incredible what they can do these days. In such a tiny little package. All made possible by the wonders of lithium ion batteries. You know, I wish I'd known you were gonna have this. I could have just done the whole blog post about this little thing. I love gadgets. I love, they, you know, that's kind of what I'm hoping is that I can build my channel to the size necessary that people will send me stuff like this to review. Because that would be sweet. Unfortunately, at the moment, that is not what happens. I keep waiting for Tesla to send me a new car, but... <laughs> Time to pick up the car and then head back and get Sofa and Jasper. Yeah, well that was great fun. And that projector thing is amazing. I am definitely gonna have to get myself one of those one day. Not a hundred percent sure I know when I'd use it, but I'm sure I'd find an opportunity. Have I mentioned their loan policy yet that Tesla have? You know, the sort of courtesy car situation. <laughs> It's fantastic. Had some good loners out of them. They're always free. You do have to wait for them sometimes because of course there are a limited number. But so far I've had one whenever I wanted one. Hi everybody! Hi. Hey Jazzy! Happy Christmas Daddy! It's not happy Christmas yet! <laughs> Now all we need is mummy. The customer service I definitely feel is extremely good. Provided I give them enough time, the car always comes back to me clean inside and out. I don't feel like as a business they're trying to make money from their servicing particularly. I'm not quite sure why it costs as much as it does, but relative to other cars of a similar price, it's actually pretty good value. Fantastic. Let's go. So it's just grabbing some cough syrup for Jasper because he's still not feeling 100%. Yeah. And the next thing that is great about the ownership experience with a Tesla is the practicality. It's huge. It should be easy to fit all that in the car. There's so much room for storing things. It's a nice, comfortable motorway cruiser. I'm starting to think these internal combustion engine vehicles aren't all that reliable. If you've got autopilot, it's even easier to do huge numbers of miles. Charging is quick and easy and for the most part convenient and cheap, which is always handy. That is quite a good present haul Jasper's got oh, there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Which is again handy, having a nice big car. Ooh, I'm in this Tesla camping. I've been meaning to do that, haven't had an opportunity to actually give it a go yet. Rest assured, when I do, it will be in the vlog. I should probably go get Jasper from the car, I reckon, now. Yeah, did I mention the software updates? 
just in case I haven't already mentioned the software updates, they're fantastic. You get a continuously improving vehicle. Years after you first buy the thing, it's getting better. I mean, that's just crazy. It is also extremely good at making small children fall asleep. Boom. One last quick benefit of Tesla ownership, and this really is a fantastic benefit. It's extremely good for helping you to set up a vlog on YouTube. The number of people who own Teslas and vlog, I think it's something like 100% of all Tesla owners have a vlog. Maybe 95%. I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Where's your Christmas jumper? Sorry, Yeah, But you got the cough you got some cough stuff anyway yeah, though, she yeah? Says it might not make any. Might not make any difference. Doesn't do anything, but Right. Well, at least it makes us feel like we're doing something.